Day one of school and there's a mixed feeling of excitement and anxiety. A term that is usually slightly about 13 weeks, four days long, might be 16 weeks long. By tomorrow, this will then be followed by a two-week break before a 15-week second term begins. Another break just about the same length as the first and finally a shorter third term begins. Then the longest break of a whole three months would start around October 19th. The proposal has been met with resistance in some quarters, but the Education Permanent Secretary says there is a well-thought-out rationale behind all this. First is to ensure lessons are cleared early in the year. We have found out that in, in schools or in cases where schools are able to finish the, the syllabus by end of second term and use third term mostly to revise and prepare the students, we found out that those schools generally do well. The second reason is to ensure that by the 19th of October, schools are closed. The PS says this will not only provide a good environment during the three-day KCPE exam period, but will also allow for better supervision of students during the exam. It will free all the teachers, and basically it will give the National Examination Council a huge pool uh, to select from to help in the administration of the examination. And this is very critical given that, you know, cheating and, and collusion and, and all aspects of exam irregularities is, is taking a, a more sophisticated dimension. However, there are weighty concerns that have been raised against the proposal. Scores of teachers usually take the April and August breaks to pursue their degree or diploma courses. those teachers will be disadvantaged if that proposal is implemented. And it may well be that perhaps if um, at this point it is too rush because the programs are already in the, the place, then we might want to harmonize with universities because universities might actually prefer a longer time. Like if, if the universities are told to prepare now course uh, modules that run from October the middle of October all the way to, say, middle of December, that's going to be quite exciting to, uh, to them. Then there is a concern that the long terms will put a strain on the children. I think what puts more stress on children is not the length of break they get, it's more <coughs> the, the, the amount of work they do on a daily basis but there are other concerns that to the peers don't quite hold water. Like I was listening to some radio station where <coughs> parents are complaining that, oh, we don't want much, a much longer time with our children. They're, they're, they're going to be a nuisance at home. <laughs> I don't think that's really a good reason. This month, however, the ministry is engaging stakeholders to find out whether the proposal is viable or whether to make some adjustments or just leave things as they have always been. Sylvia Chabet, Citizen Live at 9.